Johnny Mack, the gate is about to drop here. Are you ready to rock and roll? You're up against the GOAT. How's it going to work? I mean, at the end of the day, they call him the GOAT, but he ain't ever raced the Ronnie Mack. You know, he ain't out there on the Screaming Eagle, Tommy Crush and CR 1998 250. He can bring his championship bike. He can be a little girl say, oh, man, this thing's good. Or well, he's never beat Ronnie Mack, okay? Okay, I like what I'm hearing. You're on the outside of the goat here. Have you got a first turn plan up your sleeve? You know, whatever. I didn't care where he lined up. I lined up first and whatever. He can line up wherever he wants. He gets smoked either way. <laughs> Go get him, buddy. Yeah. Oh, I really don't know what is going to happen here. This is loose. I interviewed him yesterday and I was genuinely scared because I thought it would go off the rails. He's very cool. And Ricky does not want to lose this one because he knows he'll never hear the end of it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, when your nickname's the GOAT, which stands for greatest of all time, the last thing you want to be beat by is <laughs> the number 69 of Ronnie Mack with no gloves, cut-off helmet, he reckons he bought that bike on Gumtree, which is like an Australian version of Craigslist. And he's responsible, he believes, for the resurgence and the popularity of these bikes. So, very special bike in the hands of Ricky Carmichael. Won the title on that RM250 back in 05. Very special. It's the first time it's really been seen anywhere in a long time. Fantastic. The fans are loving this. Carmichael into the lead, but what's Roddy Mack got in store? Ah, oh, we've got to wait and see. They're close right now. Roddy Mack definitely hitting some of that, getting some of that roost off that two-stroke. You hear the difference in sound? These guys are on what we would consider old-school two-strokes, which a lot of them used to race on. Here we go. They're going to go in the whoops. Let's see how it goes. Uncle Roddy got through there pretty good, but Carmichael... Well, there is a reason he's the greatest of all time. He's winding the crowd up. Ronnie Max made some special modifications to that bike. He had the hacksaw out yesterday. He's been spray painting the numbers and the stars and all sorts on it. Yeah, he's still right there. Not probably close enough to make a pass, but close enough to keep the pressure on Carmichael. They get through there pretty clean. Double, double, triple. What we see a lot of the guys do. And I must say, I'm really impressed how they're getting through the whoops. Because those whoops aren't that easy, and these guys are making it look pretty easy. Oh, Carmichael gave a little bit of a Ronnie Mack front end oh, high. Oh, Carmichael's had an incident. We couldn't see it from on high. That's allowed Ronnie Mack into the game. Oh, that got the crowd fired up right now. You hear the engine driving. So Ronnie Max leading right now. When you look at his CV, he hasn't won a huge amount of things. No major championships. Is he about to beat the GOAT? No way. Ricky Banks bars. Oh. He loses it into our camera. <laughs> you can't the script bike. this stuff. We well, hope our cameraman is OK Ricky there. Carmichael takes Man. the chicken flag. Carmichael wins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant right there. They made a little bit of contact with Ronnie Mack, got a little whiskey throw, and oh, and now he goes off to RC. Oh, bit of a sore loser. Oh, security! Security takes him out. That was full. This is WWF right now. Exactly. This is not the Octagon. Sit down and stay down. <laughs> You don't mess with the goat, pal. We believe our cameraman right. Gordon is okay, thankfully. There he is. Give us a little wave. <laughs> Good to see He's on He's what we call the gym. We call that a close-up. Security. Look at that. Talk about taking one for the team. In Australia, we play a game called Rugby League. That guy could be He's a front row forward material. A big tackle. He's, a, he's an entire scrum by himself. Here we go. So what happened? Carmichael must have awkwardly landed and gone very high in that turn. He did, and then he goes, yeah, gives it to Ronnie Mack, and Ronnie Mack just says, oh, I've had enough. And our camera. the jib. Oh, man. Let's watch this again. I think once he realized he was going to lose it, right there gets hit, he just... Send it. He said, I'm still going to send it. <laughs> Just the bike this time. Airmail. Oh, wow. It stayed together.
That could crazy have been, shot. That could have been like a $50,000 damage right there between our camera and the arm. We, we have a news program that does a play of the day in this country. That's bound to make it awesome stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to take you trackside. The winner of our first one of the two stroke showdown, Ricky Carmichael, greatest of all time. Here he is with Lee. It was never going to be clean. It was never going to be tidy, but he is with Lee Hope. All right, right well. <laughs> That was some entertainment right there, I tell you what. That's some of the coolest stuff that I have ever seen. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I got a good start. Ronnie did good. You know what bummed me out, like, that gave me the motivation? Is when they asked who was going to win. They asked the crowd who was going to win. And you guys pick Ronnie Mack. I'm like, dude, where's the love from 2015? <laughs> it was a good time. It, uh, that was fun. The guy can ride. He's really, really good at what he does. Made a little mistake there on the... Uh, finish line the last lap he got by me and uh it was good so i had to put a little elbow grease on him over there man you look good through the whoops but i tell you what that pass that you made on him through there that sent him absolutely flying and he truly whiskey throttled off the back of that berm and took out one of the biggest camera poles you've ever seen smoke started coming from the gum tree bike and uh <laughs> it, was, it was all happening and uh, i tell you what your your 10 foot wide security guy just tackled him to the ground it was gold you know what i'm a little guy and uh you know that's why i got big friends so they can take care of me in situations like that but uh it was a good time this bike uh, hasn't missed a beat I told you guys earlier, I'm still pissed at my mate Chad Reed because we were supposed to be out here racing together. However, it's been fun to race Ronnie. <laughs> well, Sydney, you got to see one of the best head-to-heads that I've seen in a very long time. The GOAT against Ronnie Mack and the greatest of all time come out on top. Will you please put your hands together for Ricky Carmichael?